So, after I just posted this video of my six month update, I got a, um, I don't know if you could call it a request from, let's see, what's her name? I hate mispronouncing people's names, but it looks like Booters112, B O O D E R S, 112. And she asked if I'm free forming or semi free forming. She's a newbie as well, and she says she doesn't really understand the difference between the two. And I'm not an expert on it myself, but I'm not doing it either. Like, I guess if you can put a definition to what I'm doing, you can call it more of a semi free form. But a lot of people don't believe in semi free forming. They they feel like um, free forming is free forming and manipulation is manipulation. So whatever but with the free formers they're more with the spiritual you know fruits and berries water they don't like some of them they don't even do this twist their hair to start off their free forming journey they just let it go and it turns into big matted locks some of them they do start with twist and then you'll see these on the end of theirs but they'll have like one big I think they call them Congos with a little twist on the end of them. <clears throat> but with free forming, you don't twist, you don't put any um, products in your hair, you don't. I mean, pretty much all you do is wash your hair and let it dry. A lot of them don't use blow dryers or heat. Um, with semi free forming, you twist your hair, but it's like very limited it's like you twist your hair every maybe three four six months but you are manipulating it that's why they call it semi free forming but with me i'm not doing either i just wash my hair today so it looks like i'm free forming i would rather the free form look but in my profession it's not gonna really work out too well well in my profession in my state it's not gonna work out too well for me so i just go with the flow right now i'm unemployed just graduated from college so i just leave it like this and but um yeah for the question you asked is um free formers or more natural spiritual rasta they're more on the rasta side of it because rastas don't really twist their hair they don't dye they don't cut they don't do anything they just let their hair go and then it ends up draining Semi-free formers, they maintain it, but it's more, okay, like, Bob Marley was more free form. Lauren Hill was, like, more of a semi-free form to me. That's my opinion. And, um, who else? If you know the guy, Theo off of The Cosby Show, Malcolm Jamal Warner, he was, um, he manipulated his all the time. And that, I don't like that look, that neat, boxed look. I can't stand that. I don't think that's natural at all for the hairstyle. And I don't necessarily agree with freeforming either because evolution causes for change. And I know they're all, this is how they used to do it, and this and that, and this and that. But it's not then, it's now. And I mean, there are things you can do to keep your hair more healthy and do things to maintain it better than just letting it dry out and matte. And that eventually causes breakage and unhealthy hair. And I mean, no hairstyle you have, you want it to be unhealthy. You want your hair to stay healthy. And if you want locks for a long time, you want to take care of it in a way that they won't pop or break. So, hey, I hope I answered your question in this video because I like, I'm long-winded sometimes. And, yeah. But I am not free-forming or semi-free-forming. So, yeah.